Around the world, countries are taking action to use cleaner, more efficient energies and to enable societies and their economies to become more resilient to climate change. In Colombia, the government and private sector are working actively to implement innovative technology solutions for a more robust and energy sustainable world, today and for coming generations. As part of this effort, the Colombian government engaged the Climate Technology Center and Network, CTCN, part of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change Technology Mechanism. The CTCN's main mission is to serve directly developing countries on their technology uh, requests. So whatever uh, idea or concern the developing countries have on their climate technology issues, whether it's mitigation or adaptation, we will serve to bring the best technical assistance to them. We are giving technical assistance, we are also providing technological information through our knowledge management system and we are uh, convening a large network of institutions to, to help developing countries on their climate problems. We have uh, actually had a very good fortune that many countries have come to, to us for, for technical assistance. And also that we have got uh, requests from so many different sectors and, and phases of technology. We sent three proposals to the CTCN, one for adaptation, one for mitigation, and one for means of implementation. And we have a project close to the mountains, where what we're trying to do is to uh, teach the people who live in those mountains to how to uh, keep the water. Bueno, ese era un acedero que estaba un poquito abandonado, pasaba el ganado, lo pisaba y lo cercamos, se restauró naturalmente y ahora recogemos el agua y la llevamos a otros sitios de la finca donde la utilizamos para los arredaderos o para el mismo riego del invernadero. One of the important things that we are doing with CTCN is to bring the information to have the right measurement. So in that way, for example, with the uh, indicators for adaptation, we're knowing if that what we are doing at this moment will help in the future. In the waste sector, we sent another proposal that is uh, with uh, one of our biggest cities. They're doing a nice work with informal waste pickers and is related with a technology that is called biological mechanical treatment. Taking into account that 60% of the waste in Cali or in Colombia comes out of the organic waste, we try to uh, ask for technical assistance in order to reduce the final disposal in the landfill because uh, we know that 5% of the gas carbon emissions are coming from the landfills. We see that some countries such as Mexico and Chile are doing uh, really nice work. So we put in our INDC the South-South cooperation. We understand that we can bring what we are learning with the CTCN at this moment with other countries or other cities in the regions. Through the CTCN, developing countries can access quick and practical support to achieve their objectives in sectors ranging from agriculture to transport, early warning systems to renewable energy. CTCN helps identify needs, implement technologies, and catalyze financing. CTCN, connecting countries to climate technology solutions. To learn more about CTCN, please visit www.ctc-n.org.